So what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be doing something i should have done four years ago when i did the boot this was back done in 2020 early lockdown period when no one was doing anything and everyone was just in limbo completely so i did the boot shocks in 2020 and today i'm going to be doing the bonnet shocks it is quite annoying that every time i have to open the bonnet i have to use either a vice grip to hold everything up in place or put something up to have it up and it becomes, it makes working on the car quite annoying, especially when you have the fact that that's going to be in the way. So now I'm going to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to get this done. It won't even take you more than five minutes. So let's get started. Now when it comes to the bonnet, it is quite simple. It's fairly easy. As you guys can see, I'm holding it up. Yeah, so these shocks are completely dead. The part for the part that we're going to be replacing is the exact same for the left and the right you can get them as a pair as i've done or you can buy them individually parts will be linked in the video description for replacements that i use as well as for the boot that we've replaced as well linked up in the corner of here so you guys can check that video out as well so all you're going to need for this job is a flathead screwdriver that is it and i'm going to show you guys a little bit tips and tricks that i used from the last time so that it's much easier. So without further ado guys, let's get started with that. So with the vice grip holding up the shock on the driver side, we we'll get the passenger side out of the way. All you can see is these little clips, which is held on just basically there. All you're gonna use is a flathead screwdriver, pick these up on either side, and then you're gonna slot the new one in just there. You just, just gonna slot it in, not after moving the clip or anything. Now with your flathead screwdriver, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna go up from underneath here and lift these clips out of the way. You don't have to take them all the way out but just so enough that you can come out same with the bottom end i'm not sure if you, i'm not sure if you guys are going to see this but it's the exact same thing just pick it up and move the clip out of the way so that the shock can come out now you might be seeing this is the reason why this is the new one and here's the old one completely dead as you can see indicated e90 e91 this is the original shock from factory So depending on which way is easier for you, I found that by locking this bottom set in first, picking the bonnet up and then loosening this end here, it'll be easier to put it back in place. If you need to loosen up the clip, do by all means do so, that's what I had to do because it's quite tight. So pick the clip up with the screwdriver, slot it in and then lock it back down to get it into place. Now we're going to do the driver side. You can remove the clip from here. as well as the bottom be careful there's cabling over here now with that out of the way we can go ahead and start again Pass bottom in first you can loosen up the clip and once you have the clip in just Press it down. And it's done. Now for the moment of truth. As it should be. Now when it comes to opening it up. So there you have it guys, going back ahead looking at everything, it was actually the passenger side bonnet shock that was completely collapsed as you guys can see, that's done, whereas the driver side, it's still springing up so I'm going to keep that on hand just in case something does fail, I know I have a backup. I'm super happy that this part is taken care of and now when I'm working on the bonnet I don't have to worry about the vice grip or something falling on me, so yeah, I'm happy about that. If you found this video informative, please give this video a thumbs up and share your comments down below. The one thing that did get me a little bit uh, flustered was the fact that when you move the clip on the shock itself, 
sometimes it does have the tendency to come out of place so that's what i was busy with getting realigned so yeah once you get that sorted out it's fine but otherwise if you don't need to move the clip around don't have to but in my case i had to because i need to get it into place but yeah I'm, so, I'm super happy that this part is taken care, care of and we got more things coming along the way. Share your feedback down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.